obviously when he was at Arsenal, it, it didn't end well and there were disciplinary problems there. Yeah. I think when you had him at Dortmund, you had some issues too with timekeeping. It yeah. was the Champions League game at Lisbon where he pulled him out and then he One scored two. four against Hamburg. So yeah. have you got to manage him carefully again? That was the only incident and it was not even about timekeeping. It was just about the rule that we set between the matches and he forgot about the rule and, and visit his hairdresser, I guess that was it. So nothing big, there was never a big issue. There, he has a bit problem with his, with his, uh, with his time. It's, uh, um, but also never, never, he never misses a meeting or something like this. But the 60 minutes before uh, to arrive in training, it's sometimes a struggle with him. Sometimes it's 58 or 59 minutes before that he's in, but never major concern. Um, he has a good heart, he's a top character, this is how I knew him and uh, I'm 100% I'm sure that he will fit into our, in a, into our dressing room. He was, uh, while he was my player, he was always positive, he was in every single training, he never missed a training, he was never injured. Hopes, hopefully it will stay like this, he was always happy. Uh, in a good state of mind and that influences a group in a very positive way. This is how I remember Oba, this is how how I uh, felt him when I met him here in London while he was playing for Arsenal when we met and this is what we expect from him.